DZ's here with Josh, and we're about to find out what is the next Doge? Will there be a next Doge? And is it too late to get in memes in 2024? Josh, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I do not think it's too late to get into meme coins, though. I think we're on the emergence of next of the next meme coin era, which is going to be, of course, on Rune's protocol. But you got base coming up. You have Solana that I think will be fixed eventually, and that will bring back another meme season. Well, you're you're bringing up a good uh, point there. You know, the 2024 ecosystem. You know, I, I think we could fair to say we started with Solana, kind of carrying the load, and right now Solana is losing a little bit of steam. A lot of the transactions are failing, and Bitcoin is kind of taking up the weight. So, what would you say is the the state of meme coins right now? Is Bitcoin about to steal the thunder? Well, let me throw a curveball. What if we've talked about this a few times, but the whole Solana's ecosystem having too many flaws right now and shutting down at the emergence of what could be the next biggest meme coin ecosystem, Rune's protocol on top of Bitcoin, as well as base. Could this be a competitor that's you know forcing bots or something to force transactions to fail on Solana to bring that activity over to another network? So, you know, for me, the outlook is I think there's going to be a meme coin rally or run that benefits an entirely new ecosystem for the first time. Solana has been the king for like as long as we can remember. And I think that king is about to fall. All right. So we got a rally of meme coins coming. You say, you know, it's going to benefit the newer players in the space. Well, what about the older players? If we get a nice, you know, say Bitcoin led meme coin frenzy, will Doge be able to capitalize off that? Because, you know, Litecoin was a fork of Bitcoin and eventually a fork of Litecoin made Dogecoin. So as Bitcoin meme coins essentially start rising, can Doge piggyback off that narrative and follow up? Will Doge ever be dethroned or is it always going to be the top meme coin in existence? That's a great question. I think Doge, it's going to be hard to dethrone because I think Doge, it is one of the oldest cryptos that exist in all of these markets. It's not been two, through two cycles. It's been through three or four at this point. It is one of the oldest grandfather tokens on the, you know, in, in the entire crypto industry. So will it be dethroned? Maybe not. But will that value increase and will be there be a competitor that passes Shiba, I would say yes. I think a okay. Shiba or maybe a Pepe for sure. And I think that is going to happen on top of Bitcoin. It alarms me that Ethereum and you know all these ERCs, besides Doge, it is Ethereum's ecosystem that has all these top, these top projects. Then you have Solana has the top projects. Bitcoin is three times larger than Ethereum. It's what, 10, 20 times larger than Solana. And it doesn't have a meme coin that's in that top three category. That's what I'm watching for right now. I do believe there'll be a token that surpasses at least the top two out of three projects. All right, so the Doge number one spot, really not up for grabs, but the number two, number three spot, these are up for grabs in your eyes. All right, well, I kind of want to know, you know, what about some newer coins? I know there's a big one on the horizon, Gummy from Crypto Ran. That one seems to be, uh, you know, kind of taking the attention right now, launching 420, part of their marketing, I, I supposed. And they're going to do a airdrop style. So if you use the bubbles, you get a little airdrop. If you uh, trade with their community, you get a little bit of an airdrop there as well. well. What are your thoughts on RAN and the gummy drop? I mean, does does a meme coin need to be something, you know, uh, not controversial like a dog, Shiba or a Doge? Or can it kind of lean into a subverted culture like, you know, wacky gummies? Look, we got... Randy is what we're going to call it instead of candy. And this is something I think he might actually start a trend with where we move from dogs and animals to candy. And I think people need to realize Rand's by far the biggest crypto YouTuber out there. He's got the largest audience. This guy doesn't set trends. He makes trends. And with the gummy narrative, we need to roll the robot chicken clip right now. I'm so happy because I'm a gummy bear, gummy bear. <laughs> That wasn't bad at all. And as you can tell from that clip, this is something that's been funny for generations. You know, when you're this is be done in Robot Chicken, it has the perfect marketing behind it. He's been hyping it up forever. And I think as, you know, 
the sole figure in the crypto industry that is leading the markets right now in the sense of everybody watches him for the news. This is your CNBC or Fox News of crypto. That is the comparison of here when Fox News and CNBC actually got views, right? That is the difference here on YouTube. So I think Gummy is actually has the potential to be a top five, if not at least a top three contender in the long term. If they have the successful fair launch and everything that I believe that is going to take place, I mean, I would much rather be in a project ran by Crypto Banter than some 17-year-old anonymous, anonymous huh. kid on Twitter. No, that's a really good point. I mean, uh, you know, the giant audience is probably going to translate into tons and tons of attention. Now, you brought up uh, the Gummy video clip. Uh, gummy, not to be confused with Gummo. Uh, there's the movie poster <laughs> for you right there. Now, I want to ask you, you know, it's 2024. People are like, all right, well, Gummy's not out yet. Uh, Doge is already ran. Oh, what is a, a coin that you're excited about that still has room to grow? In terms of a meme coin? Yes. Yeah, so for me, I think what people are fading primarily is the infrastructure projects that are going to be making the most off these meme coins. So that's the DEXs that are in these ecosystems. You saw it on Solana. The DEXs exploded. Uh, I think Jupiter, I don't even know what the market cap at was at launch with it, but these started performing really well because of all the trading that was taking place. Radium, all these ecosystem plays were something that you can benefit off of. But one of the tokens I would say I'm watching for right now is going to be the airdrop meme coins on top of Runes Protocol. They don't have names yet. Dog. The only one dog. is Dog. Yeah. That's the only one with a name that we've been given so far. But I don't know if it's Dog. I don't know if it's going to be Cat or Game instead of Gummy that is launched on top or of Runes. Or Gummo. Exactly. Know. Whichever one, those, there will be a top contender that is airdrop to holders that are in the Rune ecosystem today. That's why we've been farming the airdrops with LFG. That's why people are farming the airdrops with Runestone. I do believe that's going to be a strong position to be in. All right. Well, if, uh, you know, gun to head, if I had to choose one, I think Snek has a little bit of room to grow. Now, Cardano fell out of the top 10, you know, some metrics. Uh, however, the number one meme coin pales in comparison to Doge. I think Cardano, you know, it's, uh, it has a ways to go to hit Bitcoin's market cap. But Snake is a 250x if it were to hit Doge's market cap. And so I don't, I don't ever think it'll hit Doge's market cap. I just think there is a little bit of upside with that one. Now there's another super popular meme coin that has retraced. A lot of people are saying this is a good entry point. It's a controversial figure, very controversial. It's the MAGA token, the Trump mm. meme coin. Trump hit 10, 11, 12 dollars. Fell all the way to four bucks about a week or two ago. Right now, trading around five fifty. Does Ma what are your thoughts on MAGA? It's going to pump, especially if Trump wins the election. Uh, that thing will go to the moon. Now you just got to hope that if he wins the election, uh, that the founders of that project. So I'm not into MAGA, so I can't give you the thoughts on okay, is that developer going to just get up and run? I will tell you this though: if Trump loses the election. Uh, you may want to make a trade before the election actually takes place because right now you see it with Joe Bowden. All these meme coins around the presidential elections are driving these prices higher and higher today. So, man, that's going to be a buy the rumor, sell the news event for me. I don't think those are long term competitors because what happens in 2028? Let's say Trump wins again. That's his, that would be eight years. You know, it's like, okay, who's going to be the next president token yep. to take place from there? Yeah, it'd be a long time before Baron Trump, you know, resurrects that Trump coin. You know what I mean? <laughs> you got to wait till he's 35 at least. Now, you bring up a good point. Doge is a decade old at this point. Mm -hmm. I don't see MAGA performing as well 10 years down the line. So I think that's a very fair point. And Doge doesn't rely on any character. Right, Trump has this persona, he has this character, he's very good on stage pre presence, but he's what, 80? You know, or in his 70s, late 70s? So, you know, again, what happens in four years when that slows down and when that cult-like mentality of a community moves to another figurehead? All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, wrap it up. So, you know, if I were to give, uh, you know, someone a hundred bucks and say, put it in a meme coin, you can't touch it for a year, Doge would be pretty high on the list, but I would probably say, go ahead and buy some snake today. Now, the coin you mentioned, dog, isn't out yet. So if you had $100, you were to put in a meme coin, you can't touch it for 12 months, what are you putting your money in today? Uh, I would use that $100. I would put it in on Blowfin. We'll use Crypto Rand's link, though. So unfortunately, it's not our referral, but if you use his referral, uh, you are going to qualify for the airdrop from the, the gummy token. So mm -hmm. that is probably the biggest play that I see that is easy to access. If not, it would be between trying to farm that airdrop for that token or it's going to be for uh, a runes protocol play. But you probably need a little bit more than 100 bucks to qualify for a runes airdrop token for a meme coin. But it would be one of those meme coins is what I'd be playing at right I, now. I do want to give a shout out. I, I traded, uh, it wasn't Bowden. I traded a Bohm. I traded Bohm on Blowfin. They added it very quickly. 
it jumped 20%. I think I was in a three or five X and ended up doing very, very well. I just want to give some advice. If you're going to trade meme coins on Blowfin day one, like gummy, low leverage, do not 40 X, don't 25 X that. Just be a little bit uh, careful because meme coins, if Bitcoin moves 2%, a meme coin could easily move 10, 20%. It's just kind of par for the course. I want to give some alpha on that too, because I know people are like, wow, why are they talking about meme coins? I never talk about meme coins. I hate meme coins. I'd rather invest into what the slot machine is built on. So, you know, I treat meme coins like slot machines. You know, it's kind of always going to be betting against you. But people don't realize you can also invest into the company that builds slot machines, right? So that's why we're using LFG in these DEXs because those are who profit off of them. You know, why I'm really excited for gummies in this case is because also as someone that's been in multiple cycles, you've been in this as well, we know that's going to be marketed consecutively over time. So that's a huge difference between a lot of these Anon projects. You don't know who are behind them. You don't know who the whales are. You don't know when the whales are going to dump or when they're going to pump more money into the market marketing aspect for uh, creators and just a global audience. So I am really excited for that project. Well, you heard it here first. What is the next Doge? You know, where we put our $100 today and, you know, the one to keep an eye out on. I'm going to be trying to trade Gummy day one. Uh, you know, if you get in early, I, I think there's some pretty good opportunity there. So uh, just give shout out to Ran, you know, not sponsored or anything. I would just, I, I, it's such a huge community. I can't imagine this doing anything, but you know, some big numbers, at least volume wise. Yep. And Bitcoin's dog. Dog's going to be the first rune protocol meme coin. So all that's right. Leonidas on Twitter. Follow him if you want to get all that insight. But meme coin mania is, uh, it's right around the corner, DZ. I don't know how you're feeling about that. I'm feeling good. And if you want to know how to get that airdrop, Josh just did a video just a couple days ago. He teaches you how to earn with the LFG. You get some of the same airdrops as the rune token holders. So we're trying to give you the alpha. Let's all get this money together. And meme coin money is like a whole nother level right there. So that's all we got, folks.